This is Matthias. Welcome to Negotiation Breakdown, where we analyze iconic negotiation clips, focusing on strategies and tactics. dollars for the day, plus overtime if we go over eight hours. Well, you'd be excited to have an acting job. If it's an acting job, we should get paid. The daughter, she starts by saying, okay, if it's an acting job, um, I want some money. So she starts the negotiation, which is very smart. Yeah, you're gonna get paid in experience. You're gonna get paid in experience. Um, so she, he's offering something um, which is not part of the negotiation from her perspective right now. Actually get paid. <laughs> I actually get paid, I want money. $600 for the day. So we don't have a demand from his side. She's leading the negotiation, starting with demands. Here's what I want. Dollars for the day, plus overtime if we go over eight hours. I'll do my own hair and makeup, and I want you to pay. Plus, 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 increasing demands. Very smart. I want you to pay for the six week intensive acting camp that my mom can't afford. $50 for the day and a two week acting class at the YM. $50 for the day, so he's reacting on her demands, which is wrong. He should come up with his demands. That's at the YMCA nearest you. $500 and a four week acting class. $300 and a three week class. So if you move too fast from 500 to 300, uh, your negotiation partner will get confused because they don't know why do you move so fast? Um, are you desperate in getting what you want? So uh, from a negotiation perspective, if you move, there is a, the so-called principle of reciprocity. If you move, if you get something, um, you need to offer something, so it's always reciprocity. So if he's, um, if he's coming up with a new idea, like what about 300, then there need to be a reason in, an, in exchange for this movement. $300 in a three week class. Done. Done. So she ends the negotiation, she f she's finalizing the negotiation, done, shaking hands. Now it's getting interesting. I would have done it for 500. I would have done it for 500. So he is telling her, you're stupid. Uh, you're not an, a successful uh, negotiator. This is why her answer is very interesting as well. I would have done it for the experience. I would have done it for the experience. Um, so it's funny. Um, from a negotiation perspective, you shouldn't do it. Because if you smile like a winner after negotiation, you provide the feeling that your negotiation partner is a fool. Um, so they can't save their face. Um, so I think in this private, uh, relaxed um, environment, it might be possible. In a business negotiation, in a tough negotiation, it's definitely wrong. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more regarding difficult negotiations, please visit our website, download our negotiation checklist and subscribe to our negotiation newsletter. Thank you again.